What's up, guys? We are back here. Fire Emblem Heroes has released a new banner, Family Bonds, New Heroes. And there's actually a really good hero in here that I want to get. It's a green hero, and it's a mage. So featured green hero is right here, this chick in white. We've got our tier list. Her name is Julia. She is a very, very powerful. She's an S-tier mage on the tier list over here on the Fire Emblem Wiki. So, interesting note is that they're only in this banner as focus heroes so they're not anywhere else so you can only summon them as five stars which is kind of lame so the other banners had a better shot at actually getting them you'll notice there's they're not in here they're not as a five star as a normal one or a four star or a three star so you can only get them as as five star focus as a three percent chance there we do need a green hero, and we do need a mage. I mean, we have Camilla. Camilla is great, but she's a little squishy. We would really love a mage, so let's summon in here. We're looking for green heroes, green orbs to summon from. Ah, oh, nothing. So, in this case, there's red and blue focus. We're going to go with the red because if you look over here on the red focus, you'll notice that there's an S tier. So, this hero here... What's her name? So, Erica is an S tier. Oh, we got another Krom. Not bad. Not bad at all for uh, for summoning there. Four star Krom. All right, we're going to head back out of here since we don't want blues and we don't want whites. There are no good focus. There's no good blue focus. So, the, the focus in this banner on blue is actually an A tier. So let's go ahead and summon again. We're looking for green orbs. Wow, a whole bunch of red. So once again, we're going to have to summon on red. Hopefully we can get Erica. Fingers crossed for Erica. Oh, no. Selena. All right, so let's do a couple more here. Once again, we're going to go back out of this. We don't want any of these. We want green orbs, guys. So, of course, it's going to vary based on what you want and what kind of heroes. Nice. We got one green orb, finally. Uh, so, this could be it. This could be the one, guys. Come on, Julia. So, personally, I have, like, no mages, and I need a mage. Ah, uh, what is this? Frederick. No, Frederick. So, I need a mage, and I need a good mage, and Julia is both those things. A good mage and a green hero. So, we're going to do maybe one or two more. Let's see what our luck is. We got 27 orbs left. What the? No, 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 no. No green orbs, no red orbs. This is horrible. So I guess I will summon on blue just because there is a featured hero here. And I'd rather have that additional 3% chance to pull him. Oh, Corin. Oh, I don't think she's that good. All right, let's do one more. We can't end it like that. We have to go at least summoning on a green to end it here. 22 orbs left. All right, we got one green. This is going to be the last summon here, guys. Hopefully, we can get this Julia. Come on, green orb. So I like the gotcha system. I like how it's set up. And there's also something that we haven't touched upon. We're going to let the animation play here. Just suspenseful. Um, ah. A Nino. Nino's not bad, actually. And she's a mage, so perfect. We got a green mage. Nino is actually pretty good. Let's take a look at the tier list uh, and see where she ranks. I believe she's an S tier as well. Oh, no, she's an A tier. So Nino is an A tier. Take a look at her abilities. So overall, not bad. Got drawback. Res plus three, adjacent allies, attack plus four. So not horrible. She's kind of like a weaker version of Julia at this point. Slow special trigger. Add total bonuses. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it, guys. This is perfect. We got a mage. We got a green mage. It wasn't Julia. No featured units here. Uh, good luck in your summoning. If you are summoning, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, what's uh, the, there's a bonus here. So all these summons that we failed, 
we are actually now bonusing up our appearance rate of the five star focus and the five stars in general. So you notice normally you start off at 3%. Every time that you summon and that you don't get a hero that is five star, you actually move it up by 0.05%. That's a really, really cool feature. So you can actually, if you have horrible luck, eventually it's guaranteed to get a a five star. So that's a really, really cool thing. I mean, if you do, what is it, like 200 summons or something? And yeah, <laughs> you can see friends trying to summon, want to know, should we summon? And yeah, this is definitely a good banner to summon, especially if you don't have all those heroes. There's some really, really strong red heroes in here. If you're in dire need of a red hero, which most people aren't. Great, great stuff for red. You get an S tier and an A tier. And then also the green. The green is awesome because you can always pull Hector in there as well. So, yes, we have our little kitty cat down here. Say hi, Oliver. So, yeah, you can always pull Hector. And Julia is an amazing green mage. I will talk to you guys later. That's probably going to be all the summoning that we're going to do for right now. We're down to 17 orbs. We're almost out. We are 100% free to play for those that don't know. I will talk to you guys later again. Thanks for watching.